be with me. Seagrid's RV has the biggest and best selection of RVs in all of Northern California. So head on over to Gilroy, right at the Gilroy Outlets and the exciting Seagrid's RV showroom, where it's an RV show every day. Come experience all the fun and freedom that the RV lifestyle offers. We're here with our Winnebago Club looking at all the great new RVs at Seagrid's. They have the best selection in California that I've seen, the friendliest people and some of the best prices anywhere. This is our fifth time coming down to Seagrid's. We've bought a number of units from them. We've been so happy with the way they've treated us, with the financial deals that they've given us, and the support that we've had. It has been really a pleasant experience. They make us feel like family. I love it and uh, love everybody that's here. And uh, it started us on a whole new adventure. Yeah. So here Definitely. we are. Go Seagrins! Thank you very much, ladies. And did you all know that Seagrins RV has the biggest RV showroom in the country? Maybe the universe. <laughs> <laughs> He's right, Jules. I'm telling you, Edward, he must be. Because every time I come to Seagrins, honestly, it's like a whole new experience. That's right. Well, listen, welcome to the show. I'm so thrilled to have Edward Saldana, one of the owners of Seagrins, uh, co-hosting with me today. How you doing, Edward? Good to see you. Thank you, Jules. Welcome to the show, folks. Today, we're going to have a family of three generation RVers, the Reinhardts. Oh, the Reinhardts. Now, listen, they are so much fun. And Edward, talk about creating lasting family memories, right? Right. Take a look. Hi, my name is Matt, and this is my wife, Ciara, and this is our daughters. Um, we came to Seagrins uh, because camping has been a huge um, tradition in my family and going out in the outdoors and it was something that we really wanted to continue as our family started to grow. Um, and we live here in Morgan Hill and as we kind of looked at different um, places to buy a camper, it was really important for us to get something that was here in town that was close to us. And uh, so we came to Seagrins and uh, we started looking at campers. This is actually the third one that we've had. We just, just had a great experience purchasing the other two uh, here at Seagrins, and so it wasn't a hesitation for us to come back and, and start looking for, for this one. So I didn't grow up RVing. We did tent camping, and when Matthew introduced me to RVing, I was a little bit intimidated, but he said, don't worry, you get the inside, I'll take the outside. So that relieved a little bit of my stress. Um, now that we are on our third RV, we shopped around a bit and we came to the decision to purchase the Outback, which fits our family and our needs wonderfully with the space of the living room to the playroom for the girls in the back to the private master bedroom to the dual doors in the bathroom to the island in the kitchen to the storage. It had a mom's heaven written all over it and it's beautiful aesthetically and it's comfortable and it's like having your own home on the road. RVN has been really great for us. We love it and um, everyone at Seagrins has been incredible with us uh, through this journey and, and finding the perfect camper for us and they made us actually feel like a part of the family as well. So thank you Seagrins. Thank you. Folks listen very carefully. A child asked his mother how were people born? So the mother said, Adam and Eve made babies. Then their babies became adults and made babies, and so on. The child went to his father and asked him the same question, and he told him, We were monkeys. Then we evolved to become like we are now. The child ran back to his mother and said, You lied to me. His mother replied, No. Your father was talking about his side of the family. <laughs> <laughs> Monkeys, oh my God, sequence cracks me up. Well, listen, Scott, if I was going to be totally honest, really, I think my husband's family's from monkeys. Don't you agree with oh, that, Oh, come on, Jules, of course. <laughs> I'm just joking. Don't tell him. All right. Anyway, I'm so happy to have Scott with me on the show again today. So good to have you, Scott. Thanks. Hi, folks. Welcome to the show. Well, listen, we were talking earlier about dry camping. And for those of you who don't know what dry camping is, Scott's going to lead us through that. But first, what are we standing in, Scott? Why is this particular trailer good for dry camping? 
So this is a Sonic, a Sonic X. Mm -hmm. This is 26 feet long. Mm -hmm. It is designed for dry camping. Nice. Yes. Okay, well, we'll get into that, but I want to start with things that I really love right off the bat. Sure. So with it being a smaller trailer, I still want all the comforts of home, right? Correct. So I love the three uh, the three burner cooktop, right? A yep. lot of the RVs are doing this now where it kind of folds back. Very gives nice. You, once again, gives you more room. I like the little oven, call me crazy, but warming up the buns in the morning. Right. Whether that you're is. standing there yes. cooking, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I like is this. What the heck is this? So I love the, the one big farm sink, but then well, this right? is to actually, I, once you rinse your yeah. dishes, you can put your dishes on here to dry. Okay, this is the coolest thing, how it rolls. I've never seen these before. I really like that. And once again, it's strong, so you can put stuff yes. on it, right? Yes. Way cool. Okay, of course, a nice little microwave. Right. Good size refrigerator. Right. So the other thing is with the slide out. Yeah, nice big slide out to make some open room in here. Really feels like a lot of yes. room. Now the dinette for four, that that becomes a bed. It right? does make that? into a bed as well. Okay. And the other thing I really love is having a couch. Yes. I mean, listen, RV's all about going out and having fun and freedom yes. and entertaining. So there's a lot of room in here. But where the heck would my husband or, or couple, and I sleep? A couple sleep in here. So what's nice is during the day it is a couch, but in the evening it's a walk around <gasps> queen bed. So that's a Murphy bed oh design. Oh my God, I have never seen yes, that. In, that is nice. the coolest thing ever. Yes. Wow, okay, I love it. Now what about the uh, bunk beds? So in the back we've got bunk beds and then you've, you're also able to open the windows back there so you don't get claustrophobic. You just feel a nice cool cross breeze. Really a nice place to sleep. Okay, so this sleeps six it comfortably. Does, very comfortable. I, I just can't get over that Murphy bed. That is so cool. Yes. Okay, so tell us about the bathroom. So the bathroom is nice. It's large enough for somebody to get in there and enjoy their shower. You, you could can get in. Yeah, yep. I could get in there Tall and fit. Yep. Yes. Yep. And then, so what's nice about that too is that's in the rear, so it's not up in the front bunker. Okay, I do like that. Yes. All right. So what about with the dry camping? What is there any solar capabilities yes, for this? Yes, solar capabilities, and the biggest thing. And it's a surprise, and we're going to show you, is the water filtration system. Oh, yes, yeah, I want my water. You want your water. Okay, we're going to check it out yeah, now? Let's go check it out. Okay. So before Scott tells us about the secret of what makes this trailer so special, Scott, tell us actually for those who, uh, people who don't know, what is dry camping? So dry camping is going out in the middle of nowhere, and you don't have hookups. Oh, I get it. So what this means to me then is no reservations required. I can that's hit the right. open road whenever I want. That's right. And my God, that spells freedom to me. Yeah, freedom to go anywhere you want. That's right. That's so right. What, what's all this? What makes so this so great? The most fun part is that you've got a water filtration system here. So if you're near a lake or a stream, you can throw a hose out in there and actually filter your water as it comes in. So you have good, clean water Come all on. the time. That's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. And then again, as you get into it, the solar, the big lithium battery and the 2000 watt inverter just basically means you can run your air conditioner when you want to, run the TV, the microwave, everything the family can fully enjoy. So folks, here at Seagrens RV, it really is like an RV show every day. We've got great prices, we've got the RVs you're looking for, so come on down, bring the family. It is a lot of fun. Here's a quiz question. Which rock group has four guys who can't sing or play instruments? Don't run away. The answer is coming right up. Away is a million miles from the office. A thousand years from yesterday. And the absolute shortest distance between work and play. Find your way. So folks, which rock group has four guys who can't sing or play instruments? Well, the obvious answer is Mount Rushmore. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back to RV with me. I'm so excited to have Madison. She's one of the friendly sales associates on the show with me today. So great to have you, Madison. Thank you. Hey guys. Well, listen, Madison, I know you grew up RVing and now you have a little girl. She's how old? She's four now. And you've taken her RV in? Oh, plenty of times. Okay, good. So Madison is going to show us some of her favorite things to bring that you can keep in the RV, right? Because it's yep. all about getting on the road faster without having to pack every time we go, right? Absolutely. So I know storage is really important to you. You like to go out and have a good time. So why don't you tell us some of your favorite things to bring and kind of why? Okay. Yeah. Um, growing up, we had a smaller travel trailer. So um, I usually got stuck doing the dishes <laughs> and it was kind of a... <laughs> 
there wasn't a lot of space to do the dishes and have somewhere to dry them. Now with this, you can go ahead and just stick it right in your RV sink and you're able to wash your dishes and then they'll dry in here. I love that. And doesn't mm -hmm. it, literally you could set it in there. That's yep, perfect. That's okay. Perfectly. Now what's this? This caught my eye. So that's nice. If you don't feel like setting up the grill, grabbing the propane, you go ahead and just put your bacon in here. Um, throw on the lid, throw it in the microwave, and it's mess free, and you're able to cook the bacon. Nice, and yep. it tastes like barbecue bacon. Yep, tastes nice. great. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love that. And what's this little trash can for? So that's for after you're done with your bacon, you'll go ahead and put your grease in there. That way it doesn't go down your, your RV drain, which is never a good thing. Oh, so, right. Yep, so right. you put your grease in there, and you can get disposed of it at the end of your trip. Great tip. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this guy? So that's a cutting board. Uh, this one's really nice for RVs because you can go ahead and collapse it. It only takes up half the storage of a regular cutting board. Nice, I yeah. love that too. Okay, so pots and pans always take up so much room. What's the scoop on those? Yes, pots and pans, they're big. They take up room in a home, but especially in RV. That's right. So these pots and pans are really nice because you have, it's a seven piece, but they all fit into uh, a nice big pot and the storage is a lot better. Oh, so they nest into one. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. awesome, okay. And the utility container. So what, what's the scoop on this guy? Uh, that one's nice and easy. You can go ahead and throw it outside for when you're camping. Oh. Uh, just go ahead and put your trash in there, empty it at the end. Just a nice... A collapsible portable. garbage can, basically. Yep. I love that. And once again, I can stick that behind it underneath storage or whatever. That's exactly. really great. Okay, and so what's the point of the wine glasses? Just because that's part of RVing or what? Well, well definitely <laughs> if you're RVing with kids, wine glasses <laughs> are pretty recommended. You wanna make sure they're not glass. So these are these are great options. Plastic, I love that. Yeah. Well, my gosh, these are such great tips, Madison. Thank you so much for having us on, yeah. for being on the show with me today. Thank you for having me. Great tips. In today's RV review, Jules will be reviewing the 2021 Freelander 21 RS by Coachman. All right, since this is a motorhome, I'll be reviewing this motorhome based on me and my family of four and our RV lifestyle. I'll also be pointing out the pros and the cons as I see them, but hey, make your discoveries as we check out this RV together. Now, the first thing I noticed is the kitchen area, the countertop to be specific. I really don't like this step up. I'd rather have it be one smooth surface and here's why. I'm a little bit clussy. I could see putting my cup of tea or my glass of wine down and literally it falling over. So I think the only reason they did that was to give you more storage here. There's some pull out drawers, but I'd rather have a smooth surface. Now, the second thing is the sink. It's a, a divided sink. Personally, I like one, you know, farmhouse type of sink. Um, I just think you can, it's easier to work with, but listen to this. The sink is plastic. Now, once again, not a big deal, but you can't take a hot pan from the stovetop and put it in the sink or it will burn that plastic. So just something to be aware of. Um, what I do really like is the three burner cooktop, of course. And you know, most all the RV manufacturers now are actually taking um, taking this type of a stovetop and then they will put the cover over it. So you do have more room to prepare. So I do really like that. Now there's not an oven. Once again, not talking about cooking a gourmet meal, but I like to have an oven to bake cookies or, or heat up some, uh, some rolls in the morning or something like that, doesn't have it. So then I thought, well, maybe the microwave's a convection microwave. Well, I checked that out. It's just a simple microwave. So there's really no way to bake anything here, but um, you should be having a lot of fun when you're RVing and forget about baking anyway, so it's all good. The next thing is the dinette area. Now, this is really cool. You can actually probably uh, seat about six people here. And if you'll notice over there, when the, uh, the bed area pulls out to convert into a bed, it also provides for seating. So literally six people can sit in here, it becomes a U-dinette, so I really like that. And at the night, of course, that can convert into a bed, so two can sleep there. Now the other thing, once again, RVing is all about entertaining and hanging out together, whether it be by the campfire or in the RV at night. And what I really like, in addition to the dinette, is both the captain's chairs swivel. So now it becomes kind of a whole living area. I do really like that a lot. Also above the captain's chairs, there's a, a bed over there where two can sleep. Um, the other thing, moving back into the bedroom area. Now, one thing I really like about that, once again, this is a 21 foot Class C motorhome. Most 21 foot Class C motorhomes have the bed that's in the corner, which means one person has to crawl over the other person to get out of bed in the middle of the night for going to the bathroom or whatever. Because this particular model has a side slide out 
it creates a walk around queen bed. So that is fabulous. I think that's a big deal. You don't find that in a lot of class C's that are around 21 feet. The other thing that's also a big deal is in the bathroom area. There is a separate shower and toilet area. In other words, it's not the shower over the toilet. That's a big deal too. So those are great features. I didn't mention there's a good size refrigerator and freezer here. So overall, even though I'm not seeing a lot of fluff going on here as far as, you know, a stainless sink or the backsplash, that's another thing. There isn't backsplash on the back here. I usually like that because you can keep things neater. But once again, it's not the end of the world, just something to point out. Now, the other thing I do really like is most Class C's are easy to drive. Now, I haven't driven a 21 foot, I don't think ever. So let's check out this uh, RV and see how easy it is to take it on the road. Let's give this girl a whirl. Hopping into the Coachman Freelander, I instantly felt at ease. With this Class B motorhome being only 21 feet long, it was very easy to drive and maneuver. And sitting up high, I actually felt safe. So here's my overall rating of the 2021 Freelander. For floor plan and features, I give it an 8.5. For fit and finish, I give it a seven. And for drivability, I give it an eight. So my overall rating is a 7.8. And what about pricing? Here at Seagrin's RV, you can find the 2021 Coachman Freelander 21 RS for the everyday low price of $94,490. Well, listen, here at Seagrens, new isn't the only way to go. Seagrens really wants to help you to get into the RV of your dreams. And with that, they have a phenomenal consignment program. And here to help us out with that today is Dennis Russo. Uh, Dennis, uh, Dennis, uh, Jules. De Dennis, where are uh, you? Uh, Jules, uh, Dennis, the, uh, <laughs> the uh, consignment man. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing talking in all these crazy voices? I have a personality, Jules, for every one of my clients. I promise. Do well, listen, my friends, I've known Dennis for a long time, and I can honestly tell you, you might have a personality for everyone one of your buyer uh, customers but in my opinion you really have a passion for every one of your customers right Dennis I do they're my family I like to treat my clients as my own family this is a 2015 Fleetwood excursion 35 foot diesel like brand new it has less than 5,000 miles on it the owners just didn't have time to use it properly they wanted to pass it on to someone who could it's a wonderful floor plan and you have an opportunity to buy a brand new coach at a used price now, Ani, for sale by or consignment RV, what about financing? How do I get that? Well, we have financing on most products, depending on the year of the coach, your credit score, et cetera. It's like anywhere else, but realistically speaking, we're very, very good at what we do. We try to give you an RV and fit it in your budget, not ours. I mean, we even have an indoor showroom with air conditioning, so when it's over 100 degrees, we don't find you on the pavement outside, passed <laughs> <Yes>. out, <laughs> which is important. Well, listen, the other thing that matters, safety matters to me, but also quality and really as a wife and a mom and a consumer, peace of mind. So what, how do you look these? Is there an inspection you do before you take them in or, or how does that all work? Exactly. When a coach comes in, we do a safety inspection on the coach. If there's something major not in working order, I call the owners back politely and I do remind them that everything has to work in order for us to pass this on to you, the consumer. And that's what's really important to us. When it sells, we do a second one. Your security means a lot. Well, you want to, well, you want to treat people like family, obviously, exactly. Dennis, whether you're representing the seller or the buyer. So what, why don't you tell people how to get a hold of you? Well, it's very easy to get a hold of me, Jules. It's 481-5408-209, area code, Dennis, area Russo. Dennis. Hi, everyone. I'm Daniel. This is my son, Samuel. Uh, my wife, Monica, but she couldn't be here today. She had to work. Um, we came through to Seagrens just to say hello. We popped in. Uh, we always like to come through to see what the newest and the coolest is. Um, but, you know, I've been camping since I was eight years old, and now I'm able to share that experience with my son uh, and my wife, and we just love it. We go 12 times a year. Um, you know, we go out to the campsites. I, I love everything about it. The barbecuing, the setup, the teardown, uh, you know, the stories we share around the fire that we share with each other. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, disconnect or reconnect, and that's what it's all about. You know, we can't wait for our next camping trip, and, uh, you know, we love Seagrams, we love coming here, and uh, we can't wait for the next adventure. Thank you, Seagrams. 
Well, thank you, Daniel, so much for coming down to Seagram's RV. It was so much fun to meet you and your little boy. Now, once again, I'm here with Edward Saldana, one of the owners of Seagram's RV. So great to have you on again, Edward. Thank you, Jules. And even better, no offense, Edward, is Guy McIntyre, former San Francisco 49er. Guy! Thank you, Jules. It's been a while, but I'm here. Back. Hey, yeah, welcome Edward, to the show. Good to see you again. Thank so you. So great yeah. to see you. Well, listen, Edward, one thing I love about Seagram's, and I, Guy and I have talked about this, right? Choices. Choices. We right. love the choices. And I know you have some new, really cool RV in now, tell us all about it. We actually do, Jules. So, you know, one of the hardest thing when you're an athlete or you're built like an athlete, you're looking for that RV that's luxurious, but you can go camping with. And today we're gonna exhibit the Gretsch RV, which is the Strata. We have the lounge and the tour edition right here in our showroom. Wow, well, one thing uh, I love about this, cause I did do a little tiptoeing is, how tall are you? What does Wikipedia say, 7'5"? Uh, 6'3". Oh, 6'3", I thought you were 7'5". <laughs> well, your personality is 7'5". I'm just joking. Anyway. Um, you are such a great example of really being. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna brag about you for a second. Okay. We love about the fact that you're such a phenomenal, you know, former football player. But I love the fact that you're such a really um, great person, guy. And I know family means a lot to you. Right? Oh yes, yeah, sure. So, it does. so you walked through this earlier. What do you tell us? What your thoughts about this as far as your family? Well, I just like the comfortability. I mean, and the upgrades. I mean, they're they're excellent. I mean, it's just stylish. It's 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 up to date. I mean, it makes you feel like you're in a luxury hotel. Right. <laughs> yeah, you can take it on the road, and On right? the road. And, and, and you keep continuing to go forward and go to a destination, but it's just so luxurious and I just love it. Yeah. Well, one thing when you were walking him through, can he sleep in that, Edward? Can he lay down? Oh, absolutely. The bed's big. He's 6'3", you could be 6'5", and you could sleep comfortably in the bed. Yeah. Well, what, what, what sets the, for those of us who aren't really familiar, what sets this class be apart from from others other other class b's that people might be looking at edward well ed, ed gretch the founder of gretch rv has been building transportation vehicles for over 30 years so he's used to building dot compliant vehicles now the rv industry doesn't make you build something to dot but this is of that caliber and level wow that's amazing okay so walk us through the the first one where you can take like say guy wanted to take he and his wife and his daughter the one that's the, the more the family type version Perfect. walk us through that one a little bit that one's a tour model which is right behind us jules okay and what are some of the features about that it has actually two bucket seats right behind the driver's seats this rv sits nine people so you could carry nine people in this one and go travel oh wow that's and nice. you can also go to the game right. 49er game right you go to the 49er right. game. i love that <laughs> yes. that's well listen we remember all the people that tailgated out there that's the best right. thing i don't know if that's well i shouldn't say this more fun than the game you'll kick me out of here but yeah it is <laughs> well fun. that's a very important part of the that's game the first part of the game that's right. <laughs> that's right okay now let's say guy wanted to go just for a weekend getaway with his wife why was the other model good tell us a little bit about the other model well that's the tour model so when you look at that model it doesn't have the bucket seat in the back, the captain chairs. Right. That one's made for a couple of travel on long trips. Okay. So it has a bigger refrigerator, a larger galley, and it has a closet for their clothes. Okay, nice. And of course, the bathroom's good size. A hundred, yeah, hundred percent. Why? I love that. Okay. I could even stand up in there and take a shower. Oh, could you stand up in there? I could. Awesome. Yes, sure oh did. my God, when's your next getaway? Uh, yeah. uh, well, hopefully soon. <laughs> hopefully soon, yeah. Well, the other thing, the reason we wanted to bring you down, guy, is once again, Seagrams. I know Edward, you and Randy, the same, are very much about helping others in need, giving back to the community. So why don't you tell us about what Seagrams has coming up in supporting uh, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital? Absolutely, so for the month of July and August, Seagrams is gonna donate $100 for every RV sold here, and the goal is to hit $10,000 in this fundraiser. Braxton was diagnosed with chloride plexus carcinoma, a brain tumor. St. Jude is helping us put away our fears. We have an amazing team that fights for the best outcome for Braxton. He has the best chance here. I don't have to worry that how much is that bag of fluid gonna cost me? Can I afford it to save my child's life? The donations, they're paying for me to live every day with my son, be stress-free, and enjoy every day with him. I wish there was a word bigger than thank you, more close to the heart, because thank you's not enough. They've given me hope. They've given me my son.
So listen, once again, Edward, why don't you invite people down for especially in July and August, right? Absolutely. Why don't you just come down, check out the Gretsch RV. It's the highest luxury class V in the market. How do you like to travel, Jules? Oh my God, in style and luxury. And I have to tell you something, I have never, and I mean never, been in, seen in, driven, or viewed an RV that has this much luxury class, but also safety and style. I love that. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't think it gets any better, honestly, than the Gretsch RV. That's right, Jules. Before you consider buying an Airstream Interstate, come on down to Seagrens RV, check out the Gretsch RV, the highest luxurious Class B in its market. And by the way, Guy, thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us in the show. Thank you. And come on down and check out the Gretsch RV. Come on down. Today we begin our adventure at the Indian Motorcycle Dealership right here in Hollister, where for this 4th of July weekend and every day really, it's all about made in America, by American, and hey, wild and crazy trips all across America. And a fun way to see America is on an Indian motorcycle from Hollister Power Sports. So what brought you guys down to Indian Motorcycle Dealership? Uh, it's an annual party, the rally. Well, actually, uh, Hollister Power Sports has great deals. Uh, all of our friends buy bikes here. I just got a Cowie Concourse l last year, and uh, Shelly got the Indian Scout last year here, so we're always looking for more. Well, what's so great about the Indian Motorcycle product that sets it apart in your mind? Smooth throttle, easy sweeps, um, comfortable, especially too for myself. I'm a shorter rider and a lady rider. The Scout is a great product for the lady riders. Just a nice smooth ride, easy control. So now that I discovered how passionate motorcycle enthusiasts are about their bikes, it was time to find out how so many riders use RVs to make this exciting lifestyle even better. Well, one of the beauties of having an RV and riding bikes is to be able to, to take the RV where you want to go, enjoy a lot of the scenery as you're driving through across the country, basically. Uh, and at the same time, having the freedom of getting on a bike and then going off and exploring even more. So with the RV, you're allowed to just pack your motorcycle with all your other stuff, and then you can drive to wherever your destination is, park it, and then start riding. So you have all the comforts of home. You do have a garage to keep your motorcycle in as well. And then when you have your family out there, you can't always take a child and put them on a motorcycle for four hours, but instead you can put them in the RV, drive to where you're gonna go, and then ride around for the time that you're at in your location. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We had a blast, and as always, Edward, I have so much fun co-hosting with you, so thank you. Thank you, Jules. And in future episodes, we're gonna be showcasing the latest RVs, tips on where to go RVing, and how to have more fun. Well, that's right. Now, speaking about having more fun, what's it time for, Edward? Let's Come dance, on, Jules. Baby. Let's do the twist. Now come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Take me by my little hand and go like this. Yeah, twist, baby, baby.